Welcome back, everybody. Pauline and Anukshuk are two throat singers from Iqaluit. They only discovered the Indigenous tradition in their teens of throat singing. They're joining us now to tell us more about their talents and what this day means to them. Good morning. Thank you both for being here this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Anukshuk, let's start with you and uh, let's talk about what is throat singing and how does it tie into the culture and the history? Uh, so throat singing is a traditional practice, be usually between two women, um, and it mimics the sound of nature, or it could be a lullaby, um, or it could be a, uh, a wish to to your hunters for a successful hunt. And Pauline, let's and talk it's also a friendly competition. Okay, <laughs> mm. Pauline, let's talk about the fact that you said you discovered this in your teens. So how did that come to be, and why was it so important for you to to learn it? Yeah, growing up, we didn't learn that in school or we weren't taught about it. Even at home, it was quite r rare. Our parents didn't learn it because they went to residential school. So it was really important for me to learn when I had a chance. So there was a, you know, opportunity that came up when I was about 15. And I just kept trying with my sister and my cousin and Inukshuk came along and she also had a big interest in throat singing, so we began to throat sing together. And the special thing about throat singing is it's like you find one partner and it's they're like your soulmate. They become your partner to sing with you, become one voice. Even though we're doing two sounds, we make it one. That's and, the, and the reason why I think it's so important is because this was actually forced to be stopped in Inuit culture uh, from residential schools or um, people from the South coming, whether it was the church. Um, so it was just, you know, something that was important for me to learn. I also speak Inuktitut, so any chance I can get to really uh, be me in, in my Inuit culture, then of course I'm going to do that. And Nukshuk, why is it so important for you to share what we're about to see? Because I know you have a performance coming up for the country live right now. How, how does mm -hmm. this feel to be able to share it in this way today? It's absolutely amazing because it's um, a collaboration that doesn't happen very often with other Indigenous artists. Um, you might hear throat singing separately or in our case with the Toronto Symphony or Winnipeg Symphony Orchestras. Um, so this opportunity to collaborate with other Indigenous artists was uh, something that we couldn't pass up. What does this day mean to you, Pauline? I mean, it's kind of new for me. I think it's new for the country or around the world to be uh, learning about this and what it means. And people are still trying to understand the history of what actually happened uh, to young children. Uh, to young Indigenous kids. And I think that it's bringing the country together. It's teaching you. It's teaching me. I've never met you. Now we are friends. Mm -hmm. So look at what it's doing, putting us in action. It's doing something um, new. We're still talking about something that was uh, sad and tragic. But we're talking about it in a sense that we're going to learn from this and we're going to recognize it and we're going to stop it and we're going to move forward. That's, that's what it means to me. Honored to hear you both mm -hmm. and have you both this morning. Thank you so much. You prepared a short demonstration, as I mentioned earlier, of throat singing. So here you are right now, Pauline and Anukshuk. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.